Greetings and welcome to Wizardry 5. Let's play Wizardry 5. So, I did some grinding off screen, of course, and I have to keep you up to date what I found, what changed, what I have planned. First of all, um, I made a mule character uh, because um, in later levels you encounter thieves and it's mm, not a bad idea to keep most of your gold on this mule character so it won't get stolen. <laughs> you may ask, hmm, why was he able to uh, get his whole party at once? Serena and Muxine turned good while grinding. Um, honestly, I have no idea what circumstances uh, must be given that it turned good. I read somewhere that if an evil person kills an evil monster, they turn good. But what is an evil monster? I mean, everything attacks me in this damn dungeon, so... Pff. Uh, same if a good character kills an evil monster, a, a good monster, uh, good monsters, dwarves for example, shall be good monsters, but they attack me, what shall I do, run from every dwarf encounter? No. Anyways, it doesn't really matter, so we move on. Um, Sangala got some nice upgrades, she got a sort of master, a bushy scale, a night shield and you may see the silver mail. The silver mail is one of the most important items in Wizardry 5. Uh, at the same time it is the most game breaking item of Wizardry 5. Um, if you equip, you're, you don't equip it. Never equip the silver scale because it's cursed. You will not equip it. No. Let's just equip your user st stuff, and it says, Will you invoke the special power of your silver mail? Yes. Um, it didn't do anything. It heals. For full. Unlimited charges, and yes. <laughs> so if a monster group doesn't kill me completely, I can heal my party up from scratch. The only person who cannot equip, uh, use it is Serena because she cannot equip it. I am thinking about changing Serena to a bishop or wizard, it depends on the version you play. Um, but I want to make sure, I make a save state before I do this, I will do this off screen. Uh, I want to make sure that she keeps her mage spells because uh, a bishop gains so unbelievable slow spells as you can see uh, I need those major <laughs> spells for later um, what else Orgrim got uh, Katana this was last time we have found this strange item let's make a save state and I touched it um, this is the rubber duck we um, I don't think we have to identify it let's see how much it would cost 2500. Oh, well, we can afford this. I uh, <laughs> got some cash. Uh, I pull gold, identify strange item, Boba Duck. We will buy one later. Uh, I didn't buy this one, I stole it. Oh, oh, it was a lucky thing. Um, what else? I didn't find. Oh, yes, I was able to identify the statue of the figurine from Ghibli Gidok. The Solemn Talisman, uh, I didn't really have to do this. I was able to use its special power, the map spell, um, without identifying it. Um, and also than that, I don't... I have some stuff to sell. Nobody can use the braces. You can sell the shield, you drop the leather armor. And give me the rubber duck. Uh, you give more like some of your items. The keys. Okay. Uh, Bulldog, Orgrim, sell has a shield. 
I'll have some things planned for now I will just have to check out first of all um, I'm going to post a link in the comment box to the right um, a description box so I found a very good walkthrough for this game and uh, if you want to play or uh, beat it too you can well go on and try it yourself um, and here is a secret door I knew there was a secret door but uh, I'm not high enough yet to uh, find it um, about the door I told you about which I was able to and block it doing my play yes mixing pick the lock um first of all we water singola more lock mixing oh melina got a super basher so she can attack now too this is one of the reasons why i want to uh, class change serena so she can use the super basher too and then we c everyone can attack um here we find Shimmering portal, which brings us to uh, the fourth level. Just have to do some ah, ye legendary den of thieves. An encounter the Tystic Man. Um, you get some information here. Yes. Psst. I've been inside the ladies' room and I've paid 250 gold for this. Yes, he always has the same. Um, they try to steal items from you. What? Zingala? Oh. Buy. I have just what you need. Who? Um, I just wanted to show you the legendary den of thieves. Uh, uh, yes, um, memo. Uh, I finally found out what the memo does. <laughs> uh, it shows the conversations you had with uh, different NPCs inside the dungeon. So what I will do is um, talk with all the random encounters here, get the information and kill them. <laughs> because this is a very nice place to level up and well, might as well use it. No? Use item, another. Uh, another thing I want to do, but I want to do is this on screen, not off screen, is uh, give the laughing cattle uh, money to get all of its information. Just have to find it first. <laughs> it was in this part of the dungeon, uh, not this one. Not this one, this one. Um, I want to give the laughing cattle as much uh, money as possible to get all of its information and then I will kill it uh, when I leveled up a bit. Um, you, I do this because if you kill the laughing cattle, uh, some arch demons spawn on its field, which is a very, very nice place to level up. As I said, you can encounter Hell in this game, level 777. Uh, and, well, Archdemons are in this 